Alright guys, and welcome back to more Justice for All, and it has been about a week since I played this game. I haven't even uploaded the six parts that you guys have yet to see yet. It's been like a week and a half since I last recorded anything, because I, I was just feeling under the weather. I was sick, and then my internet went down. And then I just was not in the mood to record, or I, I was actually recording some other playthroughs, but I just wasn't in the mood to record Phoenix Wright. But, here we go. We're about to make one last attempt, one last run through, because it's, it's Thursday right now. I'm going to give myself until tomorrow before 6pm to complete this game, and I feel we can do that before that time limit. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start up... Courtroom rum bags. March 22nd, 214 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Dude, I can't believe that Adrian. No way, not cool and collected Adrian Andrews. She is your manager. It would have been very easy for her to pull this off. The only person who had easy access to the knife you used that dinner was, well, her. So after the ceremony, during the break, huh? I was sleeping like a log the entire time. See, she could have easily planted that blood-covered button in your hakama. Hmm, because she was the one that came to wake me up? Then, dude, you're saying it really was her? Yeah, she's the real killer. She was the one who murdered Juan. She's the one that killed Juan. I can't believe it. I thought she was Buzz with Juan. She has her own agenda. Her own agenda? What are you talking about? I'm sure you'll see by the time this trial's over. So Adrian Andrews. We still... What's up with the that D-Killer dude? What's up with him? I wonder where that's gonna lead to. That's probably something completely different else. Like, I wonder how they're gonna handle that, because... That killer dude, who... This is so weird. <laughs> I'm so confused right now because Adrian Andrews, she had the card that Maya had. Because remember Maya had found the card when she was captured? And it was the same card that Adrian, Adrian had. So she could be the killer. Indeed. Give me a verdict that's refreshing like a spring breeze, okay, Mr. Lawyer dude? Phoenix, you think your motive is related to Celeste Impact's missing suicide note, right? Yep. Miss Andrews depended on Miss Impacts for her strength and will to live. But then, Miss Impacts suddenly died. Hmm, it sounds like she left a suicide note and the person that thought to have hidden it was Juan. Yeah, 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 we know this. And that's why I think that Miss Andrews got close to Mr. Karina. Sounds plausible, but one thing bothers me. What? Who was it that first told us about their relationship? Lada? Better stated, that Mr. Andrew or Mr. Andrews' codependency with what? Mr. Andrews? <laughs> I thought I was wrong for a second, but I was right. But at the same time, the the damn that's a typo. They're talking about Miss Andrews codependency with regards to Miss Impact. We found out through Lada, right? Or Gumshoe. It was Edgeworth. It looks like he's still the one in command of this ship. Don't let your guard down yet. It was somebody. I don't know why I said Lada. March 22nd, 2.25 p.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Also, Memorial Day weekend special. Devil! Court will now reconvene. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you please. The prosecution calls the witness subpoenaed by this court. Miss Adrian Andrews, the person who discovered the crime in Mr. Wine's room. She's got that persona card. She gonna summon. She gonna blow this place up. What is your occupation? I am the manager of the defendant in this case, Mr. Matt Ungard. I see. Now then. Before we begin, Your Honor, I have one request. Um, yeah, sure, what is it? I'm sure everyone in this court is wondering the same thing. And what else to find out more about my relationship with the victim? 
After all, it was the topic of a certain weekly magazine recently. Oh no, I have no idea what you mean. I, I've never even heard of Gossip Land. If the judge was ever a prosecution witness, he'd do all my work for me. <laughs> I was wondering if you could please tell us about the relation to the victim. Yes, I was seeing Mr. Karida. I was also aware of the rivalry that existed between Matt and Juan. But this was a private matter between Juan and myself. So it was a fry and bait matter, or was that bait and fry? Reminds me of fishing. But I, but I didn't kill him. No one has accused you of that yet. I've got a feeling someone will soon. <laughs> Looking at Phoenix, I think we all understand your relationship with the victim now, Miss Andrews. Very well then, witness, please testify to the mother loving court about what happened when you discovered the murder that had taken place. And I found the body, found the body. It was time for the show to start, so I went to get Matt from his room. After that, I went to Juan's room, and there was his dead body. I was in shock. What I saw was naturally the exact same scene as in the crime scene photo. I felt as though I was about to faint, so I poured myself a glass of juice. Okay, all right. You poured yourself a glass of juice, huh? Yes, sadly, I didn't remember not to touch things at the scene of a crime. Huh. And I disturbed the crime scene by moving this one thing. And that is when the fingerprints on the wine glass were made, Your Honor. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Phoenix, she is one cool and collected customer and she has the brains to match. Yeah, I know. In order to catch a person like her, you have to avoid head-on confrontations. You should disrupt her pace. Disrupt her pace? She's the type of woman who is easily thrown off by things inconsistent with her thinking. So you have to attack when she least ex expects it. The instant you let up on your offense is the instant this trial is over. Understand. Damn, Mia's a coach. Mia's a really good coach. When I found the body. Wow, that was laggy. <laughs> Ain't no... Nobody, nobody can, like, not say that wasn't laggy. It was time for the show to start, so I went to get Matt. After that, I went to Juan. And there was his dead body. I was in shock. What I saw was naturally the same scene as in the crime scene photo. And there was his dead... Let's press here. Hold it! You were in shock. What was I not supposed to be or something? Miss Andrews is a very calculating person. And despite how close they were, I doubt she had romantic feelings for Mr. Karida. Anyone randomly stumbling upon a dead body would be in shock. And you can't seriously expect that a young beauty like her would not be shocked. Somehow, I don't think beauty has anything to do with being shocked or not. <laughs> I see. What I saw was naturally the exact same scene as the cr- HOLD IT! This is the photo you're referring to, correct? The one with the knife lodging in his chest. And the guitar case was like this too? Yes, it was open and empty, of course. And then what did you do next, witness? I felt as though I was about to faint, so I poured myself a glass of juice. Why would you pour yourself a glass of juice? Why not wine? Why not alcohol? There was a bottle of tomato juice on the table, so I helped myself. But you didn't drink any of it, did you? Huh? There was no lip marks left on that wine glass to suggest that anyone drank from it. I, I wasn't feeling terribly great, so I set the glass down without drinking it. Why would you pour it in the first place? I would like to confirm with you one more time. When you discovered the dead body of Juan, you were in great shock. And that's when you poured yourself the glass of juice, correct? And what of it? My mind really was a complete blank at the time. And that was when you stabbed the man in his chest. Is that right? Yeah, that was... Wait. I, no, that's... That, that, that wasn't right. You know you done fucked up, right, Andrews? I, I didn't mean it like that. You just tricked... You know you done fucked up, Andrews. You know you fucked up. But I, I didn't... I, I See see what happened was... <laughs> I want to know if anyone's going to get that reference. Your mind was a complete blank. I didn't think that was possible for you. Aren't you rude today? I was so dazed that I made one careless mistake. That one thing. What one thing? 
Oh, never mind. It's no big deal. What was she starting to say just now? Oh, no. We pressing further. We about to press you. Miss Andrews, I'm convinced that as you said, you made a mistake at the scene of the crime. What I really want to know is what this mistake was. Actually, so would I. I, I'm sorry, I, it's just, it's kind of embarrassing. When I, when I set the glass down on the dresser, I spilled it. I accidentally knocked the flower vase over. Okay, never mind. She didn't spill the juice, she knocked over the flower vase. Like, oh my god, oh my god, that ass though. Gavel, that ass. Flower vase, huh? Are you talking about the one on the floor in the crime photo? This mess of glass shards? It was originally on top of the dresser, but when I bumped into it with my elbow, it fell onto the guitar case. Why did you withhold such an important piece of information? I'm sorry, I thought that since the crime scene was already in- You know you done fucked up, right, Andrews? You know you done fucked up. We know you did it. Gavel! This bitch did it! <laughs> it looks like- Looks like yet another fact has come to light. Please add this and anything else you have to reveal to your testimony. I'm sorry, but I have nothing more to add. I didn't touch anything else. You think this is a game, Andrews? It's not a game. I was the one who knocked over the flower vase when it fell onto the guitar case. What kind of flower vase was it? It was a glass vase and it was fairly big and heavy. I thought I would try to take Juan's poles. So I set the glass I was holding down on the dresser. And that's when my elbow accidentally hit the vase. Huh, that's odd. I thought she was always in total control of herself. That's what she would like people to think. Always being, always be mindful of the gap between the perception and reality. It doesn't sound like there's any glaring contradictions in her testimony just now. I warned you earlier that she would not crack so easily. The only way to make her is to keep on the offensive and not let up. Yeah, yeah. The only way you're going to catch her is with something very strong and decisive. I have to find something. I just have to, for my sake. Obviously, we have to present something on that last piece of uh, testimony that was just added. I was the one who knocked the flower vase over. I dropped the screw and the tuna. Look at that. There is some water, but only on top of the lid bears Karida's fingerprints. Ah, she's not lying. I guess we should show the guitar case? Alright. Wasn't too big. You testified that you knocked the flower vase over. Is this correct? Yes. You... And, uh, are you sure it fell onto the guitar case? Yes, is there some problem with what I said? It's not some problem. It's a major problem. It's true that the top of the guitar case was wet with water. However, that's exactly what is so strange. Miss Andrews, you testified that the vase fell onto the guard, the guitar case. However, if that was true, the case should have gotten wet on the inside, not the outside. Oh my god. That's very true. Furthermore, there's one other strange thing about this guitar case. What is that? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. You know you done fucked up, right, Andrews? I, I didn't mean... You know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> the remains of the vase are scattered on the floor. And what is wrong with that? If the guitar case was open when the vase fell, well, it should be weighed on the inside. Not outside the case. <gasps> what is your point, right? That the case was closed at the time the vase was knocked over? Is that all? No, think back to what Miss Andrews testified to. She said that the other than the base, she didn't touch anything else. Mm, that's right. She did it. 
explicitly say that she did dead the guitar case. But, but this whole matter with the guitar case is a dead end. The bright red guitar was found at the studio. It has no bearing on the case at all. That may very well be, however. An empty guitar case does seem to have no relation to this case. Hmm, it seems that there is no deeper meaning to the guitar case. Well, Mr. Wright, do you think we need to hear more details about the guitar case? Make her testify. <laughs> I should let her be. No, make her testify. I believe this is a crucial piece of the puzzle. <laughs> I can't believe anyone would reach for straws like this, but it is you, so... I can't believe I'm doing this either. Gavel! All right, I'll follow along for now. Miss Andrews, please testify to the court about the guitar case. Yes, Your Honor. She's got that persona card. And don't you dare think about summoning your persona. I don't remember too clearly because I was a bit dazed, but I suppose I must have opened the guitar case after I knocked the bass over? It's not a big deal though, right? The case was empty after all. As for why I opened the case, even I don't know. What? That is so strange. It looks like this really wasn't a very important point. <laughs> the wastefulness is such a familiar feeling by now that it's almost comforting. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'll just go ahead and start the cross-examination. <laughs> Using any way to change the topic, a convenient escape for a weak man. Wow, what an ass. Edward, please. Please, Edward. I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to reach out to the truth. I don't remember too clearly because I was a bit dazed. I suppose I must have opened the guitar case after I knocked the vase over. Bow, bow. There's some water, but only on top of the lid. I suppose I must have opened a guitar case. Why is she open it? It's not a big deal or anything. The case was empty after all. As for why I opened the case, I don't even know. It's not a big deal. I suppose I must have opened the guitar case after I knocked over the vase. Why is she saying that all of a sudden now? She said she didn't. I don't remember too clearly because I was a bit dead. So let's press on this. So you opened the car or the, 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 the car the guitar case? Yes, well maybe. Why did you open the guitar case? Huh? Mr. Karate's dead body was right there in front of you, wasn't it? I would think that the first thing you would do is to call for help, not open a guitar case. As the witness has said multiple times, when she found the dead body, she was dazed. Hmm. Maybe I... Maybe I was curious to know if the bright red guitar was alright or not. I thought maybe the criminal took it. Why would she care about the bright red guitar? But getting back on topic, it's not a big deal though, right? The case was empty after all. Uh, uh, uh. Like this second one has me like, what the hell? There's probably something wrong here, I just don't know what it is. We still got plenty of health left, so we can just randomly start pressing stuff. Was ripped from the costume, is covered in Karida's blood, found in Engard's Hakama. Lotus photo. An article from the tabloid, blah blah blah. Useless, useless, useless. Yeah, Juan's fingerprints were the only ones found on it, not Andrew, so she could not open it. So let's press with the guitar. Let's present the guitar. Oh, wow, okay. There's no way you were the one who opened the guitar case. Because his fingerprints were on it, right? 
Why would you say that? It's elementary, my dear. Because the only fingerprints on the guitar case are those of the victim. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, the fingerprints. You shouldn't assume that I must have left prints just because I touched the case. What do you mean? Did you have gloves on? What if I were to tell you that I was wearing gloves at the time? Huh? Gloves? But why would you be wearing gloves at the time? It was the night of the award ceremony, so of course I dressed up for the occasion. Dressed up? Yes, now I remember. I'm almost sure I was wearing a pair of thin gloves. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, it seems the witness was wearing gloves at the scene of the crime. That's just strange about that. That's strange. Let's say that's strange. That's strange. You were wearing gloves. Isn't that a little strange? Why is that strange? Do you have something that would prove I was not wearing gloves at the time? Oh, we got something. The wine glass. The wine glass, girly. Your fingerprints. I have proof right here. This wine glass. The wine glass? You left your fingerprints very clearly on this wine glass, dumb bitch. Oh my, you call me a bitch. I don't like men who call me bitches. Even if you, t <laughs> if you, <laughs> even if you tuck your gloves off when you poured yourself this glass of juice, wouldn't you think it was just a little strange? That you put your gloves back on just to open the guitar case? Oh, broke your glasses and she put on another pair of glasses. <laughs> Yo, does she always carry all those glasses? Gavel, gavel. Order, order, order in the court. Looks like you hit the nail on the head this time, Phoenix. Hmm, what do you mean? I believe that guitar case plays a very important role here. But it's just an empty case. I wonder if it really was empty, though. But the guitar, the guitar, the bright red guitar was at the studio, dog. Phoenix, drop all of your presumptions. What was in the guitar case was not the bright, the bright red guitar. You don't mean it was a bright white guitar. Wait, that's not right either. Gavel! <laughs> I admit it would be unnatural for someone to do that. So the witness was not wearing gloves, despite the fact that on the case... Oh, your honor, this is obviously the... The defense's usual misdirection tactic at work. Steer the court towards an unrelated topic and lure us as into his misguided. No, Your Honor, please recall that Miss Andrews had testified that the vase fell on to the guitar case. Okay, okay, which means that the case was closed when the crime took place. <laughs> However, it is wide open in this photo, of, or you know, the photo of the crime scene. I am sure this guitar case has some relation to the murder. If you are so sure, right, then I'm sure you can somehow substantiate your outrageous claim, correct? Please enlighten us as to why the guitar case has anything at all to do with this murder. Um, can you do that, Mr. Wright? Oh, uh, well... I guess we'll find out next time on Phoenix Wright Justice for All. <laughs>